everyone, it's Alpaca Wacker. Today you join me taking a gander at next car game breakfast. Now you've probably already seen this game. It, it's been out for a number of months. Prior to that, it's been out even um, even before that as a tech demo. How oh, I did plan on doing a video on it two months ago, but I, it was kind of unsuccessful considering I lost the files. I don't, I don't know how I managed it, but I managed it. Um, back then it was actually just called Next Car Game. Since then it's actually got a proper name. Like I said, it's now called Wreckfest. So that's, that's a development there. Uh, I'm going to be having a quick look at this game and explaining exactly what it is. Now what is it? Well, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a, it's a destruction derby style racing game with proper physics and destruction and stuff. Like, for example, I can crash into this wall and the wall will slowly disintegrate. Kind of have to hit it at speed, though. <laughs> I hit it very slow. Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> I'm kind of rolling down the side there and I'm on my roof. I need... Oh, oh. Nah, I need to... I need to reset the car. This has been... It's been actively updated, which is one thing I like about this. It's currently in early access still. Um, but it's being updated all the time. They recently added multiplayer, which was a nice feature of it. Um, at the moment, I am racing single player, however, just to give you a quick view of the game. I'll switch into multiplayer, however, later on in the video. Uh, performance wise, now, oh, I finished race. Uh, during that race, I was kind of getting between 30 and 60 frames per second. It kept on dipping every now and again. Unfortunately, because this game does have like destruction physics and collision physics, like proper stuff that make your car disintegrate into. I don't know, a DeLorean, whatever, or just disappear entirely, it just crumbles into nothing. Because of that, it kind of does affect the performance, but I kind of expect that. But it doesn't do too bad a job at, um, like, controlling that. Um, let's just do another race um, quickly, and I'll show you another track. Um, in total, you can have uh, up to 24 cars, um, kind of like um, 23 opponents and yourself. You can have up to 10 laps, and you can change the track. There is uh, race, gravel, tarmac, sandpit, speedway, sandpit one, that's kind of construction. You've got these derby stadiums, which this one's called stadium. You've got a small stadium, and you've got mud pit. You've got, this is sort of, kind of like Derby, but not so much. You also have different uh, routes within the track, so you've got route 1, route 1 reverse. Um, there's actually another one. Um, I'm using a controller, by the way, and it doesn't seem to be wanting to click on the right things. Uh, let's just go with gravel. <laughs> what I've found is that it works quite well with a controller, works quite well with a keyboard, but in my preference, I actually prefer the controller for this game. Actually, I prefer the controller for most racing games. There's very few of them that I don't. I mean, it's still perfectly competent and playable with a with keyboard and mouse. Well, you don't use a mouse. But with a keyboard, but it just feels better with a controller. That's just my personal preference. Um, you play with what you want. Um, the tracks are quite well laid out, quite nice. They're not um, kind of original tracks. They're not like Grand Prix tracks from like the F1 games or whatever. Kind of like I don't know, based upon them. And it doesn't seem to be based on tracks that I know of. Someone's setting off fireworks outside. I mean, I know the game is good, but fireworks for this? Seems a bit over the top. Um, yeah, I'm getting 30 frames per second just now. Um, bear in mind, however, before you say, oh my god, only 30 frames per second, I am currently running uh, an HD 6850 one gigabyte graphics card. And that is um, three or four years old now. So, well, yeah, three or four years old. Jeez, wow. But don't worry, I am getting a new graphics card soon, so hopefully I can get some better frame rates and thus be able to get a better recording, because I'm hoping to upload to YouTube in 60 FPS, but looks like this one's not going to be a goer. <laughs> These AIs are tricky and they flip me. Come on, you... Oh, for goodness sake. See, my car is literally disintegrating. Let's have a look at this. Um, well, that wheel is quite clearly in the centre. <laughs> wow. My car is turning into, I don't know, a rusty 
cage. I don't know where that came from. But yeah, it's quite, it's pretty fun. It feels pretty realistic. It, at times it can feel a little bit arcadey because it's not proper simulator. But I wouldn't want it to be. I would just that would detract from the fun that I'm having if I'm honest. So yeah, it's got some. Oh God. <laughs> Everything's going on in front of me. Let's just see if I can spin him round. Oh no! <laughs> oh, where did you come from? You were back there a moment ago. Yeah, as you look on the bottom left hand graphic of the screen, you can see um, the car condition of my car. Uh, front left, front right, middle left, middle right, and back left and back right. Um, the more red, dark red that it becomes, the more damage it is until it becomes black and. That means critical damage. I took a hefty impact there to the front right. Uh, I, I don't know quite where he's going. <laughs> it's well, um, shows you the condition of the engine in that graphic as well. Uh, on the right hand side, it shows you your speed in kilometers per hour. You can change that to miles per hour if you wish. Uh, top right hand side, you've got the laps, you've got your lap time, your total time, and your best lap time, and <laughs> yeah, you can smash through them. Quite fun. Puts debris all over the place. There's a few tracks where there's a lot of tires around and you can just smash through them and tires go everywhere. It's actually quite fun to watch. Once again, if you've got lots of cars crashing into them at one time, then it is going to affect performance. Now, um, price. Um, I can't remember the price. I think it's something around £19.99. I should have checked that before coming on and doing this video, actually. I am a numbskull. I do that more often, actually. don't do the price very much, if I remember correctly. Um, it's, it's fun, but I will admit it's difficult to justify paying full price for it at the moment, as it is in Early Access, and... Although it has got a fair amount of content for an early access game, it doesn't have enough, in my opinion, to justify paying that much. I don't. I've. I felt myself playing maybe an hour at a time, and I don't. I've not really been playing it too often. Um, I do. I do like it, but to having to pay full price at this moment in time, it's difficult to swallow. Um, however, I managed to pick it up in a sale. I think it was about thirty percent off when I bought it, maybe 20%, not sure, but even though it was a small reduction, I did feel that the game was then worth the amount that it cost, at 20% off. I, it's just, that's just my personal preference. If you're really into racing games, you might feel that you want to pay full price. Um, I am really into racing games, I'm just, yeah, I just, at the time of buying it, there was no multiplayer as well, bear that in mind. So you're getting a bit more for your money now, so... I suppose that's a factor as well to consider and they are continuously updating it like I said earlier on so it's only going to get better in theory. Um, anyway let's just come out of this, we've gone on this race for long enough just going round and round and let's just continue and let's go play multiplayer. Now there are a number of games available at the moment, um, that one's not in progress so let's join that one. Let's just use the mouse for a second so I can click on join. <laughs> it's faster than trying to get the mouse, um, the, the, the thumbstick down there and to hit A. I had to look at my controller there to make sure that there was an A button. I forgot. <laughs> so, um, yeah, here's the multiplayer thing. Let's just ready up. Um, essentially, it's hosted on people's computers, so your ping will be compared to essentially to one their internet and to how far away you are from them. So try and join a server with a low ping. That'll always help. Oh good. Uh, once the person readies up and um, that's leading the server, it readies up pretty much instantly. And um, this is one of the tracks that's just an oval. Quite fun. This guy, is he going to... No he's not. Oh god, this guy behind me though. Oh, get away. Oh. What's interesting though is although the host has quit, I can continue to race in this. So, <laughs> however, I think everyone else has stopped. So let's just let's go into another game. Why? Why would he do that? You've ruined this. Uh, let's, um, let's try getting. Oh, yeah, that's that's a good one. Let's try getting to that. 
Derby Stadium. That also get you to see the Derby mode as well. Or Derby, however you want to pronounce it. Um, it's ready up straight away. One feature that I don't like, however, of this is that when you're in a multiplayer lobby, if you don't ready up when the game starts, it kicks you out. Which, although I can see that is quite good because it gets rid of all the inactive people from the race, if you're not paying attention and the game starts, then you have to wait for another game to start, and that can get annoying. Anyway, this is the this is the derby mode or derby mode or derby what just whatever you want to call it. And by the looks of things, this is just everyone from themselves. There is a there is a team version where it's essentially uh, blue versus red. You just get randomly assigned into a team, and it's most takedowns win. This is quite fun. The only thing is I'm useless at the moment because I'm not going anywhere. Oh god, I'm sideways. <laughs> I don't know, it might just be the car that I'm using, I don't know. It just seems to be unresponsive and useless. That could, that could however be me. I am quite unresponsive and useless at times. There you go, there's killing the guy called the Toblerone King. And now I'm going to take you down! I think he might be AFK. He's just kind of parked on a ledge. Um. Left, left thumbstick? Right thumbstick means you see around if you use it. Oh god, there's this person behind me. Just turn! <laughs> that was effective. So yeah, it's quite it's quite fun actually. Oh. That was a massive lag spike there for some unknown reason. Huh, okay. I haven't seen that before. Come on, come here. Oh god! <laughs> that was not my wisest decision. I'm on my roof. And I've got critical damage, so I'm going to reset my car. And hope to God that no one sees me. Because if I take another hit to the left, I'm probably going down. I want to take you, but I don't want to take you. If you know what I mean. Oh, God. No, leave me alone. Oh, my my car is a cripple. It's, it's barely moving. Come on. Come on, get some speed. Come on. It's like a turtle. I am racing a turtle. Oh no, it didn't. Ah, I want just a little bit more speed. I need to use these ramps. Like, oh, <laughs> that was close. Get some speed and then I can crash into someone eventually. Whoa. Yeah, you'll do. No, he looks like he's already been taken down. He's following me. Oh, he's got me. He probably wasn't expecting to flip like that. Oh, am I the only one left? Yeah, it's just me and him. Oh, bloody hell. I'm going to have to aim for him now. Ooh! <laughs> I've chickened out of it. I might want to reverse, actually. Oh, dear. Oh. It appears that my reverse gear is not very... G oh. <laughs> he touched me. He just, like, he just, like, he could have got out his car and just, I don't know, just put his hand on the bonnet and it would have spontaneously blown up. <laughs> That's how damaged my car there was. Anyway, it shows you the, the your position and all that there. It takes you straight into the same thing again. Only disadvantage is if you want to change track, the person hosting the match has to actually quit and set up a new one. That's a bit annoying that. Um, there's one more thing I'm going to show you, which I'm going to show you in single player. Uh, let's just go for, yeah, let's just go for race gravel again. The feature that's pretty cool in here is that you can stop time. I forget what button it is. Photo mode. Okay. So we're just going to race a little bit. We're just going to do a nice... We're going to do a crash. I'm going to find somewhere that I can crash and then I'll show you photo mode. So um, around this corner. I think into that sign might be, might be cool. Oh no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into that sign. Oh, that didn't quite go to plan. Uh, let's reset the car. Oh. Well, let's find somewhere else. Let's just go this way and... Do the tires? No, 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 no. That'll be... I need a ramp. I need to do some kind of jump and then go into photo mode. That'll be... That'll be... That'll be nice to see. For God's sake, stop hugging me. Guys, if you just want to hug, just tell me. <laughs> oh, heck. Here we go. What I'll do here is I'll just go off the ramp sideways and through one of the signs. I, I didn't really go through the sign. <laughs> I am useless. 
No, oh, well, let's just go into photo mode anyway. I'll show you it. Okay, so this is essentially it paused. Um, how do I use it again? <laughs> camera. Let's go for free camera. Oh, I want free camera. Never mind. What are the buttons? <laughs> ah, the buttons weren't working originally. Okay, WSD lets you control the camera, lets you go around, shift makes you go ahead. But it's not just photo mode as such. I can rewind the race. There we go. Sorry. Um, oh, no. Sorry. No, I can't. I can rewind the race after the race is done. Uh -huh, I'm derpy. Oh, my God. Okay, I never forgot that. Um, okay, let's come out of photo mode. I want to be a friend of this. Ten laps! No, my neck. Um, <laughs> let's quit. Let's go to... Yes, and let's continue, and let's just do a one lap race, because I messed that up. Let's do one lap, and we'll do it on tarmac. It's a good track, it's got lots of tyres, it's fun. Do I need to say more? It takes a while to load, however. I'll take that back. Anyway, let's just do our single lap. And then I'll show you the photo mode where you can essentially rewind forward, change your camera, and etc. Hold on, am I just against one person? Oh, you're kidding me. I changed the laps to 10 and the players to 1. <laughs> oh my god, I'm an idiot. Okay, that's more like it. 10 opponents, 1 lap. I don't know how I managed to mess up that badly last time. I also somehow managed to accidentally change my car. And now I've been spun round. It's it's a small car. God, it's like pinball here. Geronimo! Oh 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 oh! <laughs> it wasn't quite as exciting as I thought. Let's just randomly go through a bunch of tires. Yeah, that'll look good in the replay. <laughs> Let's take out the tower. I'm gonna say. That would be quite good for the race if I'd done that, because now the tower is pretty much on the corner. Critical damage! Wow, already. Oh, well, let's just finish this rap lap, and then I can show you the through mode in action when I get to control time! Yes! Get to control time! It is... Fireworks just... Will you stop? Actually, I don't even know if that is fireworks, I was like. But let's go to the view replay. And let's play. Um, let's fast forward it slightly. There you go. If you hit it, it does it two times, four times, six times, and I think eight times. No, they've actually capped it four times now. Before I tried doing 32 times, my god, was it laggy. So yeah, that's quite cool that they've capped it four times. However, it would be nice if they had an option for eight times if you could run it. But anyway, let's actually go back a little. Oh, I can't. I can only go really slow. Okay, well, let's do it again. Because I was too busy talking. wasn't paying attention. Okay, let's get to... Uh, there. That'll do. And at this point here, I can get, take control of the camera. Uh, free. There we go. And I can just, like... Just kind of like fly around, have a look at everything. Have a look at the trees. Look, look at that majestic tree. <laughs> well, when I say majestic, admittedly my graphics options are down to low, but that texture quality is... Well, that is horrible. But that's kind of off the track. You don't kind of need to see that. Um, tires, they're quite good. Admittedly just flat, but hey-ho. But you can see... I can control the camera! I can clip through the map! Who hasn't wanted to accidentally do that? No, there was our fireworks outside. <laughs> God damn it, fireworks! You're interrupting my recording! But, um, yeah, this is the photo mode in action. And at any point, I can just play it again. Admittedly, I've put it to full speed. And just kind of take control again. Change camera. Let's put a lens effect on. Zoom it out. Zoom it in. Blur. 
blur focus point I don't know what that does near blur oh my god it's all kind of I don't know <laughs> my vision's impaired I can't drive I <laughs> see if I go into driver mode there uh, can I no I can't never mind oh, can I let's have a look uh, cockpit yeah I can Oh, I can't see. There's something in my eye. <laughs> um, yeah, before I uh, blind my driver, leave a like and subscribe if you if you like it. And uh, I'll see you next time.